Hello everybody, welcome to the third episode of uh, un Underrated Hot Wheels Castings uh, Discussions. I'm here today with the very awesome and talented uh, Exilaris. Oh, well, I'm flattered. <laughs> uh, we're doing this really weirdly. I'm having him on an Instagram call because we're, I'm just choppy on his end for Discord, so it's not working out. Because his audio is fucking shit. It's terrible. Get new gear. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm finally excited we can make this video because it's, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so we got ten cars to go over, and I'm pretty sure this will go a lot quickly than previous videos because dilly dally. But, anyway, Rocket Box, uh, do you want to go start off first talking about it, or do you want me to go first? Yeah, um, I like Rocket Box, believe it or not. Uh, I think it's a cool car. I know people aren't usually huge about the tuned cars. Uh, anytime I see Rocket Box, I immediately think of Vulcan Boogan, because it's like his favorite casting. Uh, it was designed by Jean Amai, I believe. I mean, you can actually see Amai right on the side there. It, it came out around the time Acceleration was out. I can't remember if it was 2005 or 2006. It was around that same time. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I like this casting. Uh, it's actually out right now on the pegs in the main line. Uh, it's got a new release that's actually pretty good. Hmm. I might have seen the recent release. I just don't remember, but... Um, I have... Yeah, they're pretty easy to find. Yeah, I, uh, I have a, a red one with, like, a guy screaming on the top of the car. Like, his mouth is open. <laughs> Yeah, there's a version. It's just that dude screaming. Yeah, like the little speakers are supposed to be his eyes, and like the hood is his mouth, and he's just like, ah! <laughs> it's weird. Interesting. I think yeah. really if I saw it, I'd recognize it. Yeah, I have it. Uh, it's the um, it's it's the only Rocket Box I have, and no one really talks about that one. I think it's one of my favorite versions of it. I do like this one though. This one is really cool. This one in the picture, I think that's the first edition. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. Is it supposed to be like some kind of wacky Volkswagen concept? Cause like it has VW on the back. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really look Volkswagen-y to me. I don't, it kind of reminds me of just like a really weird, like Polo or Golf or Scirocco. I don't know. But it has Vol the Volkswagen logo on the back. So I'm like, is this supposed to be just like a weird fantasy Vol Volkswagen? I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> it also kind of reminds me of Chicane if it was just like smashed. We know uh, Jinamai designed Chicane as well. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so, that's cool. And he did high voltage and Chicane and stuff like that. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with designers. Like, Larry Wood is the only one I know, and then, like, I don't even know every car that he's done, but. Um, that's why I brought you on here, because you know all the designers. <laughs> so. Well, honestly, the, the MI logo on the side reminded me that, like, oh, yeah, that's a Jean MI casting. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so, I, I, like, half cheated. Well, I mean, it's a good thing I brought this picture in. Oh, man, I love this casting. <laughs> uh, this you is, know, uh... I don't really think this is an, uh, I don't, I don't see this one as, like, an underrated one. Uh, when it comes to, like, these recent... Fantasy castings, those are the ones that the current collectors get the most exposure to because they only care about the new stuff. So I know a lot of collectors who really like this casting, believe it or not. What's and I see it, uh, especially when it came out, it, people made a lot of customs in this car. What's this one called again? This is Muscle Bound. Okay, I knew it was Muscle Something. It released in, I think, 2018 or 2019. It's around that time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like a collage of a bunch of different muscle cars. Like, it doesn't really have, like, that distinct design of, like, oh, it's a Camaro or a Charger or a, a Plymouth. Yeah, it's, a, it's a more unique sort of design that takes cues. I forget who designed this car, but uh, they did it an excellent job. It's really badass. I love it. And then there was a there was a black one that had an M on the side with like red markings. 
Hmm. And then they just didn't release it again. Huh. So we need this car back. Yeah. <laughs> we only got like two or three releases. Yeah. There was a variation of this one in purple. Not really a variation, but it was a recolor in purple with that same, those same decals. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, I love muscle bound. That's some of my favorite. Dude, when it comes to fantasy muscle cars, those are always my favorite castings. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think this one's... Like pr- fat. <clears throat> I think, uh... I think this one's really cool. Um, I think, like, if it was really detailed, like, if someone made, like, a really cool, like, hyper-detailed custom of it with, like, giving it headlights and everything, it would look really nice. Um, yeah, I, I, ha- I have something like that. Uh, I had uh, someone at my club who makes customs took this car and put real riders on it and detailed the headlights and the taillights and stuff like that. He sold it to me. It was really cool. He did one that was in my uh, blue, and he... You know, there's like a hole in the engine there, so that that scoop can pop in. Yeah. He took out that scoop and he put like a blower coming out of that hood. Oh, it's nice. Super cool looking. Yeah, I think I don't really like the, these wheels particular, and like, I wish they stopped using these. Like, they'll only look good on like, uh, like dump trucks and shit or like trash them. trucks. I think they're I like okay. Them. Like the elite things. They yeah. Look good on muscle cars. Yeah, I, some of them I think they look meh, but. I don't know. I'm so used to, like, the old wheels that, like, the newer ones I'm not, like, too fond of. Uh, is that Speed Bump? I think that one's called, right? Oh, this is Mid Drift. Mid Drift, okay, yeah. I can never differentiate the, the flat cars. Yeah, Speed Bump, um, I don't know if it was, its name was reused for a different car, but there's a car that's, like, crushed, like a, like, a demolition derby car, and it's called Speed Bump. So probably one of the monster trucks cars. Yeah. Come with the monster trucks. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But um, so yeah, I I brought this up because this is actually Pete one of Peach's favorite cars, because this one was in um. Be- really? Yeah, he really likes this car. Is it beat that? Right? Yeah, yeah, it was in beat that. Yeah. Um, he really likes this one. I think this this car looks cool too. Um, it's so. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you, I was never a fan of the flat cars. <laughs> so I do not like them. Yeah, I think it's it's super weird, but also looks kinda cool. Like it's I'm I don't really like the torpedo cars, but I like these ones. I don't know. I think this one like would work cool for downhill racing because like it's so freaking low. So Yeah, I downhill raced a one of these flat cars. I forget I even forget the name of these, but these I just call them the flat cars. I downhill raced one of these one time, and uh, it did okay. Do you know anybody, like, do you know the designer of this one, or no? Uh, no, I have no idea. Mm. I do know, though, if an Acceleracers fan saw this, all they would point out is the fact that it says Clone MI JT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the oldest local of Acceleracers cards. Yeah. It's like, they use those crossed hot wheels you know there was a recent hot wheel that had clone on it and everyone was like bro it has clone it's tech yeah dude dude. i i just talked about that car in the last video and i pointed that out i'm like hey look it says clone on it dimachini velose yeah 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 that's uh that's one that i just um reviewed i don't know why i put that in there now that you said like the recent castings i think i just brought that in there because i wanted to talk about it more or less than the fact that like it's you know new underrated whatever all right i guess we'll move on because we didn't have much to say about midrift ah yes yeah. i like uh, this is, uh, bon, bon voyage, right? yeah something like that yeah i have i think i have this one actually but the little sail is gone it broke because this is the pirate uh, one. yeah but I, I think i still have yeah, I never the... seen the pirate one. yeah it was in a five pack Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just familiar with the first edition. Uh, I think there was a faster-than-ever version of this, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 there was. My friend had one, and I remember thinking back on it, it was really dumb, and he's actually an idiot. But, like, we would race our Hot Wheels cars. He's like, well, you see, mine is not only just a faster-than-ever, but it has a sail on it, so it's faster than your car. And looking at it now, oh, I'm like... Dude, that was- Drag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, the sail causes drag, you fucking idiot. That makes, it slower. <laughs> that makes it significantly slower. But can't you fold it down? Yeah, you can put it down. 
But yeah, because if you put it down, it'd probably be a fast car. Because I'm, I'm seeing all that metal on it. And now I understand why they put that fast and everything. Yeah, I mean, we would... Th- me hot yeah, the hot tub car. <laughs> so, when we were racing our cars as kids with this... Well, I'm not friends with them anymore, obviously. It's been a very long time. Um, uh, We would throw our fucking cars down the hallway. Not throw them, but, like, launch them down the hallway. And, you know, he, of course, yeah. was older than me. So, he's going to throw his car harder than me. So he's like, I'm better than you. I fucking hated that kid. But, um, yeah, like, this uh, this car I, I always kind of had a fonding like of. Just because it's so fucking dumb and cool at the same time. Like, it's a boat. Yeah, it's definitely one of those, one of those <laughs> dumb cars, but, like, in the best kind of way. Yeah. They don't make gimmick cars like this anymore. Now they're just cupcake cars and stuff like that. Yeah, they're just food, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if they made this car today, it would be, like, bright neon green and orange. Yeah, and like purple and Easter colors. And all that metal would be plastic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this would look cool in five dots. I gotta get in one of these and put it in five dots. Bone Voyage is not really my thing, but I can at least appreciate it for what it is. Oh, it's a, one of them tail draggers. Yeah, I think this is Ooze Coop. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this at all. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, these like... All these different, like, these gimmick cars from the 2000s where it's, like, the hard nose and the tail draggers and the tuned. I'm really not familiar with them because I'm just not a fan. <laughs> I, I threw all these pictures together because I have, like, 70 fucking cars to talk about across seven videos, so... The, the, fat back, the fat backs are so bad that they're basically a meme at this point. Yeah, I, I liked the fat backs once I realized what they were supposed to be and... So I have like more respect for them in that aspect. But when I had fatbacks as a, as a kid, I was just like, "What? What is going on here? Like, I'm so confused." So, uh, the, only, the only good thing about fatbacks is that they made another Jack Rabbit special. I just wish it wasn't the fatbacks. I I just I remember I think I had like two or three tail drag when I was a kid, and I would just always use them as ramps for other cars. Oh, dude. Actually, I had an ooze coupe. I did the same thing. I would have, like, one that was, like, f- for, like, a truck, and I'd make the truck, like, drive off of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would just make a car just drive it behind it and use it as a ramp. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think... I think this casting's okay. This one's in here because my buddy Eric really likes this one, so... Um, yeah, it's all right. I kind of like that it's, like, a different version of Tail Dragger because... I think tail dragger is an underrated cast thing. I don't know why you could, didn't just put tail dragger on the list. Well, like I said, I have I have seventy cars I have to go over, and we're just looking at ten in each video. So ah, yay! One of my favorite ones. <laughs> oh my god! What is that? You don't know what this is? I I feel like I've seen it, but I it has left my memory. Oh my Wasn't god! Was this in Hot Wheels Mechanics? I think I don't remember, <laughs> but. I think that was the mechanics. <laughs> can't remember. But it's the most 90s looking Hot Wheel I've ever seen. I know. It's it, got the whole space thing going on and the, the saw blade wheels. I, I love this one. This one's called Radar Ranger. Radar Ranger, that's right. Yeah. That sounds familiar. I love this cast. Final run. Yep. Boy, I wonder why they only... I wonder why they discontinued it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so obscure, but I love it so much. Oh, uh, I have. I have seen this before. It just was ne- It just left my radar. It's never really that important huh. to me. Ha! <laughs> left your radar. Ha 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 ha! Funny uh, pun. Ranger, ha ha! ha, ha. Funny. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I love this car. So I don't know. A story behind this? Why you put it on? Like, did you like it as a kid or? I just. just like the car? I I'm a sucker for space stuff. Like, I love space-themed things, and especially, like, the 90s, early 2000s era of, like, toys that were, you know, space-themed, and, like... Yeah, that looked like this. Yeah, I just, I like it. I don't know. I, it, it's cool. I don't know. like, clunky, like, Buzz Lightyear aesthetic. Yeah. Um, I forgot which one I have, but I don't have the final run. Mine is like green and purple. I think I have two of these with different colors. They don't do final run anymore. They yeah. Can, but they just sort of discontinue kind of things without telling anybody. <laughs> yeah, that really sucks. 
Um, I miss Final Run. You should Final Run Skyboat and like the entirety of all character cards. I know, right? That'd be great. <laughs> they don't even. Well, actually, none of them deserve any Final Run shit. Just get rid of them. Roll Cage. I like Roll Cage. Yeah, I like this one too. Um, I think the yellow Roll one looks cool. Roll Cage immediately makes me think of Stunt Track Driver getting dirty. Stunt Track Driver 2. <clears throat> yeah, this one, uh, I don't know. I've always liked this casting. I don't, I've never owned one though. Um, well actually no, that's a lie. I have one yeah. in a box. It's in a box. So. I have the yellow first edition. I have the yellow first edition in my, uh, fantasy collection. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a yellow one that's in a box. Or, maybe it's the red one, I don't know. I can't remember. But I think the red one came right after. I think that's like just the recolor of the first edition. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, mine. Came, I don't I, know. I could be wrong. Right? I I have a ten car, ten car gifts gift pack from like the early two thousands or like very late nineties, and it has roll cage in it, and it's either red or yellow. I don't remember. You know they still produce roll cage today, but it's fucking retold to hell and back. Oh, it is. Like, I don't, even, I don't even think the spare tire is on the back anymore. I think there's just, there's just no spare tire on the rear. Yeah, that sucks. Kind of ruins the look of the car. But yeah, I saw it in a... It, it released in a five-pack, like, maybe last year or the year before. Oh, okay. And it, like... They, yeah, they removed the spare tire and everything. Oh, jeez. That's stupid. It looked really weird. <laughs> um... A lot of the metal parts were, like, changed to be, like, plastic. Oh. Uh, is this one pretty heavy, or is this, like, a pretty light casting? Uh, it's heavy-ish. Maybe, like, mid. Hmm. I'd have to, like, go pick it up, but, you know, I'm in a different part of the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would totally uh, love to do a custom of one they're of these. The, they're the yellow first edition row cage on the packaging uh, artwork of the Dune Rats uh, track set. You know the, the little world race track sets that are like small and skinny? Yeah. The Dune Rats one was called The Greatest Crash and uh, it has a roll cage on the packaging. Yeah, I like this one. I think this one's really cool. Definitely a poster child of the 90s. Yeah, roll, cage. roll cage is great. Yeah. Alright. Next one. Aha, here's a good one. Shadow Jet. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love Shadow Jet. This is, that's actually the same one that's in, uh, uh, Hot Wheels Mechanics, I believe. Oh, okay. This is the video game, it's like the video game Heroes or whatever release. Okay. Uh, we have this Or no, 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 not, not Mechanics. This was in Star Trek Driver. Uh, the one in Mechanics is yellow. I have both the yellow one and this one. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I actually have this casting or not, but... I think, I can't remember if this one or the yellow one was the video game here as well, but... Hmm. Yeah, you get the idea. Yeah. Yes, good car. Very 90s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, very 90s. I think it's really it's cool. That, it's got that... It's got that, that space aesthetic you were talking about, that, like, 90s space sort of buzz light your look. Yeah, it does. I don't have much to say about Shadow Jet. It's, uh, it's Shadow Jet. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to say much it's either. It's it's a good, good car. Good. Ah, Bad. yes. Another good one. I have this oh, one. Man. I used to have this one. I love Solar CX. CX4? CX5? I forget the number. I think you might be CX. correct. CX4. I just call it Solar. Yeah, I call it Solar yeah, I too. Call it Solar. I also just call it Solar. <laughs> um. But this is my favorite version of the casting outside of the one from Velocity X. But the one in Velocity X is a Tony Hawk car, but it's all blacked out on the side. It doesn't say Tony Hawk on it. My favorite release is the race team one from Stunt Track Drive. That's the one I have in my collection. Oh, oh and I have the original one from the late 80s. Oh, okay. It was, I think it was like a Ultra Hots or Hot... Yeah, it was like an Ultra Hots thing. Yeah, this one I used to have as a kid, and I was actually, when I was looking for photos for the videos, and this one popped up, I was like, oh, oh, I used to have this one, like, and I, I just, I'm just like, damn it, I miss it so much, because this was one of my favorite cars, and I don't have it anymore, and I can't remember if it came from a playset or not. <laughs> this one released in the early 2000s, so it looks like it. Yeah. Another thing too, uh, Solar is great for downhill racing. Oh yeah. It's very. 
Anything that has like a opening trunk that's like half the car, like the like the uh, Ferrari F40, like those cars are really good for downhill racing. Yeah. It's just so heavy and metally. Do they even make these anymore? Solaire? Uh, no, I don't. Know. Mm. They don't produce Solaire anymore. Yeah. I don't. I wonder what the last one was. Like, I don't even know if this got a final run. Probably didn't. I imagine like maybe the early 2010s, some obscure pack or something. Yeah, because I want to say I had this car in like 2000, 2007, 2006 when I had this one. So. Um, yeah, because it got, it got a couple of releases in the 2000s. Yeah. The the shitty thing about my Hot Wheels collection as a kid is that my, you know, parents divorced, so I had Hot Wheels at my dad's house and my mom's house, and when my dad moved away, I lost all my Hot Wheels cars that my dad had, so um, I've, I've forgotten about a lot of cars that I had, and then yeah, it just kind of sucks. I, I uh, no longer have my uh, original... World Race Dior 2, I traded it away when I was, like, in fifth grade, and I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> yeah. I that... messaged the kid, and he doesn't have it anymore. Oh. Like, hey, remember when we traded Hot Wheels, like, when, like, ten years ago when we were kids? We still have it? <laughs> it's <laughs> like, no. I don't have any of my Hot Wheels anymore. I'm like, yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, man. Dude, I, um... Yeah, I traded it. I traded it for an RDO 9. An Accelerator's RDO 9. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you still have the RDO9? Yeah, I still have the RDO9, but, like, I freaking loved that Dior2 when I was a kid. That was, like, my favorite car. I have no idea why I traded that. Oh. It's so stupid. Alright, move up, move, move, move on. Speed Blaster. Speed Blaster is not really underrated. Everyone freaking knows Speed Blaster because it's a track driver. Yeah. Um, I don't hear many people talk about it, but I, I really like this car. Um, I have oh, this... People talk about this car all the time. Oh. <laughs> it's a very popular among, uh, at least amongst uh, like fantasy deep people fantasy fans right yeah I have this exact one I think this one came from a playset but it could be wrong um, yeah it's a good release I actually have the blue one from Stunt Track Driver in my collection oh nice yeah I I could have I couldn't figure out the name of this car for years. It's like, dude, what the hell is the name of the car? Because, like, I loved this one. I played with this one a lot when I was a kid. Um, but this would have been a really cool car in World Race. I don't know how this didn't make it in. Did you know there's was, there was a release of, of Speed Blaster with CM5? Really? Yeah, it was in the main line. It was in the uh, race aces. Huh. It was, like, red and blue. And it had uh, CM5s with red trim. Huh, I'll have to look for I that. Drill, I, I drill them for customs constantly. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> when I commissioned uh, Randy Leahy or uh, Metro Metrics on Instagram to do my Scorchers Roger Dodger custom, um, I asked him, like, hey, where do you get your wheels? And he was like, oh, I drill other world race. I'm like, hey, don't do that anymore. Like, I'll give you a list of other cars that have come with wheels you can drill. And I, I gave him one of those speed blasters to to use the wheels on the Roger Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... But yeah, I, I go through things like crazy because I just drill up the wheels. Yeah, I've never seen it's that one. Yeah, off to, uh, off to look for it because it does sound pretty fucking cool. Um, this yeah, was actually the... It's a kind of the... outrageous theory that has the same color scheme and the same wheels. I got one of them signed by Mike Zarnock because I bought one from him. Oh, shit. Speed Blaster is a classic. A lot of people love Speed Blaster. Yeah. I love Speed Blaster. Yeah, I think this one's pretty cool. Probably one of my favorite. One of my favorite fantasy castings from the 90s. Yeah, I always forget about this one, but... It was designed by... It was designed by Larry Wood. Oh, okay. Uh, what were the other two cars that before this? I, don't, I never said who designed what. So we had Solar. Oh, Shadow Jin. Oh yeah, Solaire and Chow Chow. I don't remember who made who signed those cars, so never mind. Ah. Um. I'm sure if you look it up, you would find it. All right, Nerve Hammer. I like this car. I, I like this specific casting. I have a yellow, yellow and red one. Uh, it's like 
The whole car is supposed to like look like it's on fire. It's okay, but I think this one. This one's really cool. Nerf Hammer was designed by Jenna Mai. Uh, Jenna Mai got his start at Hot Wheels with Acceleracers, so this was like right after Acceleracers. Oh, that makes uh, sense. It's a good casting. It's a good track car. Uh, yeah, everyone loves Nerf, Nerf Hammer. They they released it like I think last year, or the year before, and it was in the Track Stars series, and it was like bright neon green with orange wheels. It was hideous. And it's just such a shame that like these great castings are just wasted like that. Yeah, I, I think I know what you're when you're talking about. That one's awful. Yeah. But yeah, I use Nerf Hammer on the track a lot because it's a good good track car. There you go. Yeah. Did they I can see flames. Did they retool it? They might have, but I'm not sure. I think the spoiler might be part of the body now, but I don't know. Yeah, I think they might have retooled it. Um Yeah, I have to go look can't right now yeah what is the name of this one um i think it's called the um oh god it, this is one of my favorite castings too and i can't remember the name of it um <laughs> the, uh, it's because it's, it's never written on the base uh is that rescue ranger something like that i don't know something maybe it is i there's no name for it so i can't see it looks very 80s yeah it is it is very very 80s um but this this had a lot of recolors like i think this was very popular it was like i said it's it's one car that i really liked as a kid i have i still have two versions of it one's like an easter one like the lights on the back are like green and then the body's purple um the other one i have is like a surf patrol but it's blue and it's got like lifeguard on it it's kind of like this one but it's different time like this definitely looks super super 80s i mean the hot wheels logo on the back is very old so but it, they always have the same wheels they always have the blade wheels but i love this casting because it reminds me of like an old toy to pickup truck and it's fun to use in the dirt but yeah that's a cool casting i'm not sure if they still produce that or not no i don't think they do um the easter one is the last well, one that might, i saw they might do it in like some adult lines like premium or what have you but i'm not sure yeah, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. If I ever get another one of these on my hands, I'm gonna put real riders on it. With like the, the the rubber off road tires they have nowadays, I think it would look super badass. <laughs> you call that underrated? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most beloved fantasy castings ever. I mean, it's sixteen angels. I love this one so much. <laughs> Is that a faster than ever? Um, maybe. It might be, actually. Uh, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I have this one. I know I know there was a faster than ever 16 Angels. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I kind of just threw these together because fuck it. You know, I figured if some people watch these videos and they've never heard of these, maybe it's underrated to them. I don't know. But, I mean... I, well, I it's under, it's under, all these castings are underrated to like general Hot Wheels collector base. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. At least among, among like fantasy fans, everyone knows like Sixteen Angels. Yeah. But uh, it was designed by Nathan Proach, who designed the Dior 2 Slingshot, Spinebuster, Anthracite, a bunch of iconic cars. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why this car has always been one of my favorites. I just. I have this specific one. I, I don't know. It, this car is just awesome. Oh yeah. Um, Sixteen Angels is my one of my favorite castings. I, there's a Super Treasure Hunt version of it in dark blue with five spoke real riders that is freaking gorgeous. It has headlight and taillight detailing. It, it just looks so good. But um. Anyway, enough drooling. Next car. Um. Okay. So yeah, this, I don't really have. <laughs> this is a bad <laughs> photo, but um. This is. That's a, a, that's a, that's a Fast and Furious Spy Racers car. Yeah, I like this one. I think it's really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the Spy Racers. Uh, all of them. I got. I have them. Uh, this one was called the Astana Hado, I think. Yeah. I have the old black one, and then I have this version. Um, uh, this is probably my favorite yeah. car from that show. I haven't watched the show yet. I need to watch it. Um, I've watched. I've watched three seasons of it. Uh, I gave up after, like, the third season. Ah. Uh, is it okay? Like, is it any good, or...? 
Yeah, it's it's okay. It's not going to be as compelling as like something like the Teleracers, but it very is like reminiscent of like cartoons from that era. But yeah, it's very like for kids. So you got to get over some of the the cringy dialogue and stuff. But there's some good stuff in there. It's very fast and furious. Yeah, I think this car it's by it. Action. What's it's up? Great action animation. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw some stuff for it, and I mean, it looks very super action packed. I remember like the hype for it when th this first dropped. Like, there's a lot of people saying, "Oh my god, it's like accelerators!" Oh my god. I'm like, dude, this is nothing. This is not going to be anything like accelerators. This is a cartoon with cars. Like, don't get your your hopes Just up. Imagine, like, like, <laughs> imagine like Battle Force Five, but instead of like sci-fi, it's like the Fast and the Furious. Uh yeah, I think this is a cool car. I really like this one. It's like. A smash between yeah. a Porsche and a Lotus is what it reminds me of. I, it reminds me of, of like, a, a Fair Lady. Like yeah. 240Z. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, it's like a rally car 240Z. That's sort of what it was looks meant to be. Yeah. yeah they're, like, not so subtle with the inspiration and the car designs. Like, <laughs> Tony is, like, very clearly driving a, a Dodge Challenger. Yeah. Um, Which, that, that's my favorite car in the show, the uh, uh, the Thresher, Ion Motors Thresher, that's what it's called. Yeah, that thing's that's the awesome. Best car the show. Yeah, I really like that car. I had yeah. that, I had a yeah, cast in. Um, yeah, the Thresher's kick ass, I love that one. Yeah, I tried to make a custom out of it, and I, I broke <laughs> I broke the fucking car, so I was like, shit! So, uh... Oh, Alright, this car, this car follows me everywhere. Um, I had a shitloads of these. Yeah, Monoposto. I don't actually have the specific Monoposto. one. There was a Monoposto in the original series that was very premium and like had a lot of cool graphics and all that on it. It, it reminds you of like a beta battle spec. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I kind of like it more than battle spec though. <laughs> Not much to say about it. I, I don't remember who designed it, but. If I could take a wild guess, I would say maybe Phil Realman. Phil Realman. I don't know how to say his last name. Phil Realman. I have a silver one. I think it has like an orange window. I forgot what the other color is the other car. But I don't. I don't have this yellow one. I do like the yellow one though. I think the yellow one looks pretty cool. Alec Tom designed it. Oh okay. Well, we can move on. I don't have much to say about Monoposto. It's, it's Monoposto. Yeah, this one. It's all right. <laughs> Ooh, GT Hunter. Now this is this is actually like an underrated casting. Like everyone gets it confused with uh, Track Ripper. It's a good good track car. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about it. <laughs> I found a loose GT Hunter like underneath a shelf at Walmart one time. <laughs> oh damn! Just, just hanging out. I think I think it was like a mystery model or something. Huh. That's that's the only interesting thing I have to say about GT Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I um. But yeah, cool cat. Like, I don't know why I got this picture. I think I was just kind of scrolling through images, and I'm like, oh, that one's kind of cool. See if anybody knows about this one. So, I just threw it in there. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I recognize it. It's a cool cast thing that I like. Yeah, I think the the colors on this one are really nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just move on. Cause I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> oh, quick bite. <laughs> I used to have Quick this. Quick has been so. Quick Bite has been through so many different toolings. They retool this car like every year. <laughs> I swear to God. Really? Yeah, and it's gone through like a bunch of different names too. Hmm. Um. Because it used to be called like the ice cream truck, and then it was like the food truck or whatever. But it's called Quick Bite now. Yeah, I actually um, I think I used to have this exact car with this paint team um and i really liked this one as a kid the this was back when it had the little dude in the window there used to be oh yeah yeah i think they still do oh because like he can move and you can actually take him out of the the window so i always wondered if that was like a choking hazard oh yeah but you, you can't do that anymore <laughs> i think they molded it to the plastic yeah um, I don't remember him ever popping out. Of, I thought he was just part of the mold of the interior. Piece. You might have just broke it. <laughs> no, I, I, sh I really remember it having, like, you can move him, 
to where he can like be back like facing down or you can move him where he can be facing up um it was hard to stick my finger in the window but i used to move him around um you know a lot about sticking your finger in small spaces maybe <laughs> that's, that's how i almost died sticking my finger in an electric Sorry, socket fucking kill my I'm just gonna end my life right here. Used it. Didn't they use it for like the Deadpool uh, chimichanga van? Or did yeah, it, I think that was a new cast. Yeah, they did. They did use it for that. Um, I see those all the time. Ah, yes. It's a classic. <laughs> Mach four. I don't know. Race wrecked Mach. <laughs> I like this car a lot. Specifically, the race wrecked Mach four. I love. I love the battle damaged cars. <laughs> Yeah, I love Mach 4 and, and all the Speed Racer cars, but I can't really, like, give Hot Wheels the credit for designing them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I just, I miss the, uh, the Speed Racer cars and, um, um, whatchamacallit. Like, really me and Eric and probably you were the only ones that have talked about the Speed Racer castings. Like, anybody else. Oh, oh no, you You'd be surprised, dude. Like almost every Acceleration fan we talk to also collects Speed Racer cars. They're they're really popular amongst uh, fantasy fans. Mm. I've been seeing them a lot. People people have been uh, suggesting them for Unleashed a lot, but they can't do it because licensing. But they get suggested a lot. It's so weird because it Requested. is it is Warner Brothers, so you know. Well, they they don't own it anymore. Uh, it, the, all the copyright stuff went back to the original anime studio that that uh, own Speed Racer, so Warner Brothers no longer has any license. Oh, so, okay. So that, that's why you never see anything, no like DVD releases or any of that anymore for the Speed Racer. It's like all the lights and brakes and all that went back to the... I'm so happy, I'm so happy I have my, my, my DVD of Speed Racer, dude. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the Speed Racer movie is just a thing of the past. Yeah. Which is a shame. Because Speed Racer is my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. It's so good. Um, I actually have yeah, some. Okay. I actually have some of the Speed Racer castings on my desk right now. Um, I'm actually currently holding Grey Ghost and uh, the GRX. They're still pretty fucking perfect. Like the Chrome is still on the wheels. Um, these were some of my favorite. Like cars to, to play with. I don't have the accessories anymore, which sucks. Um, yeah, they're, they're very good on the track. Yeah. Uh, like oh, the Mach 5 and the Mach 4 are like they they zip around the track. They're really good. That's why they all had plastic bodies and base, because it's just a better weight distribution for the track. Yeah. Um, I have Prince Cabala's, Musha Motors, um, Shooting Star, Ooh, it looks like a chunk got taken out of it on the front fender. That's not good. Uh, well, Shooting Star was one of my favorite cars to play with, so this one is a little banged up. The wheels are still good. Um, my Prince Kabbala, the wheels are kind of fucked on it. Uh, where is it? Oh, there you are. I don't know why it brought these out. I guess I was moving some stuff around. Yeah, the wheels on my Prince Kabbala are kind of rubbing off, but the rest of the car looks okay. Um... Yeah, I collect, I collect the Speed Racer cars. I'm still missing the three Red Roses car, which is, like, impossible to find. Oh, I yeah. the Kelly Gearbox. I still need Kelly Gearbox and, like, one or two others, I think. But I, I have most of them. I forgot who we were talking to, but someone had said that they had the uh, three Roses one. So I know someone has it. Literally, literally just before recording this video, I was in the Discord, and someone... Was at a flea market and they said hey i found some of the speed racer cars for five bucks were any of these rare and it was like it was like the tejo togacon car which is pretty rare and then a bunch of commons like there was the shooting star and a snake oiler and i was like dude five bucks a pop just buy all of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i've been trying to find a flea market but it's so hard to find one like I don't yeah, know. My, my, my seller friend, I have a friend who sells at my local flea market. I visit his stand all the time. He gives me deals and stuff and helps me find what I'm looking for. 
Uh, he had a, like a bunch of those Speed Racer cars, and I, I bought them all from him. So I got like some of the rare ones, like Thoraxine and Teja Tugukan and whatnot, and I got them for like five bucks a pop. Is Thoraxine the uh, like Viking cars? Yeah, Thoraxine were the Viking cars. Yeah. Okay. They look like arrows. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I got most of the common cars. Except for Musha Motors. Isn't Musha Motors kind of rare? No, no, that's a common. I oh, see really? that one everywhere. Oh. Yeah, Prince Kabbalah, Musha Motors, Grey Ghost, GRX, they're all commons. Hmm. Snake Oiler. I used to have the, the, uh, uh the dirty Mach 5, but I don't have it anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, there's Tail Dragon. Yeah, this is the this is my favorite version of it. Yeah, this dude, this thing's heavy, man. If I threw this at somebody, it'd fucking yeah, knock him out. Dude, that thing's a brick. I had a uh, purple Tail Dragger growing up. I think it was the first edition. I'm not sure. Oh okay. Yeah, this is my favorite version. Um, I think my grandpa. Just plain purple. Oh yeah, I've seen the purple one. Um. It's clean, dude. It's clean. It's clean. Um, yeah, I I like the zombie car. I, I really, really, really like this one. Um, very, very nostalgic. <laughs> like I miss I miss these old decals so much. Like, oh, it's so good. Yeah, they just don't make them like that anymore, huh? No. I miss the effort with the decals. Those wheel types, I don't remember what they're called. Every time I see those wheels, it just makes me think of like late '90s and early 2000s, where every car was like a brick. Yeah, I um, I forgot the name of these. Oh, I think they're called lace, lace wheels. I call them, I call them snowflake wheels. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they are lace wheels. Um, I, they, they're actually one of my favorite wheel types. I like this car a lot. I guess we can just move on. Yeah. I don't really have much to say about the dagger. <laughs> we already talked about it with the other one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had one of these growing up, dude. I loved that Nomad. Yeah. Because I, I love the uh, the Crash Dummies is really nostalgic for me. I loved the, the Crash Dummies when I was a kid when Hot Wheels made them. Yeah, I think uh, my Eric... brother and I played with those for hours. So when I saw the Crash Dummies Nomad, I had to have it. I think it was in a five pack or something. I can't remember. Huh. I still have it. I know it's in my, my loose collection somewhere. I think Eric has it, which is why I put it on this list, because I think he wanted it here. But, um, yeah, I love Crash It's a Dummies. good choice. That specific release is a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I When I was a kid, I loved that Nomad casting, and I loved the Crash Dummies, so that was like a match made in heaven. Yeah, I, I love the Crash Dummy stuff. I used to have them, and I wish I still had them, because, like, I had them at the had time... Huh? We had the the blue SUV and the the green coupe. Was, the green coupe was mine, and my brothers had the my brother had the blue SUV, and man, we used to have so much fun with them things. But we used to like set up. There'd be like a little ramp on the floor, and we rolled across the floor, and then it would hit the ramp halfway, so the car would like flip over, and the car would just roll, and the like the pieces would just fly everywhere. Man, that was so fun. It was probably one of the best, like, Hot Wheels, like, uh, toy lines they did. Like, I forgot what toys I had from Crash Dummies, but I remember having some of their stuff, and it was one of my favorites. Yeah, we know Crash Dummies existed uh, before Hot Wheels, and I think Hot Wheels had gotten the rights to it. Oh, really? I didn't know so that. The Crash Dummy, yeah, the Crash Dummy toys were made by a different company, because they were... Uh, Crash Dummies, they're, they're, you can look up the, like, the history of the Crash Dummies on YouTube, but it started as a PSA uh, to use your seatbelt. Like, it was a seatbelt PSA. Okay. And the characters, like, became so popular that it just became this whole marketing thing, and then, it, you know, kind of defeated the purpose of the PSA. You yeah. Know, when they made toys of cars that you're supposed to crash. <laughs> That's so cool, though. It originated from a PSA to wear your seatbelt. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. That's like... But yeah, it was really popular. In like, it was popular in, like, the 80s, I think. It was either the 80s or the 90s. I can't remember. Huh. It might have been the 90s. Uh, but, yeah, and then in the 2000s, Crash Dummies had a revival under Hot Wheels. I don't know how Hot Wheels got the licensing rights or if they owned it. I don't know if they bought the Crash Dummies brand. 
I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, I, I prefer I prefer the Hot Wheels Crash Dummies. They're they're more stylistic. Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know about that at all. And this this Nomad looked like yeah, it's been yeah. beating the shit too. So. <laughs> yeah, it was loved. I, but yeah, I love that Nomad release. I have that. Yeah. All right. Oh, is that it? Very nostalgic. Shit, that's the last car on the list. <laughs> that's fine. I need to go eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But thanks for having Thanks for having me on, man. That's oh, yeah. Fun. Yeah, we'll have to do more of these in the future. But, uh, um, yeah. But, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.